mount in our truck. Before the test, everyone must be sequestered in an underground bunker three quarters of a mile away. The last person permitted outside is Tim Collister, our ordnance technician. To detonate the barrel from the bunker, he must string a special line called a shock tube. The shock tube has a very fine dusting of explosives in it, and it's so fine that one pound of explosive will make 14 miles of this tubing. I'll place the tubing inside the uh, channel, fire pin will go home, fire the igniter, and it will light the shock tube. All accounted for? All accounted for. Stand by for count. Five, four, three, two, one, fire. The detonation traveled 4,000 feet through the shock tube, reaching the barrel bomb in less than one second. Rolling at 10,000 frames per second, our ultra high speed Phantom 7 cameras track its progress. They actually show the pressure wave distorting the air the changing shapes of the smoke, and the wind hitting the mannequin at 2,000 miles per hour. When it's safe to return to the test site, Dr. Abernathy sees the test is successful. 